Hello everyone, Race Time 911 here, and today in this tutorial video, we are going to be learning all about Corona, so get ready. Today, we're going to be focusing on three main areas, and those are changing the color of the Corona, and custom shaders for the Corona, changing the Corona type, and also where the Corona is in your XML. So, we're going to start off with how to change the color of your Corona. To change the color of your Corona, you're going to need paint.net or a similar photo editing program that can open DDS files and also Giants Editor. So to start out with, we're going to look in our Giants Editor file, which I happen to have opened right here. Okay, so first we're going to navigate to where the Corona is in our vehicle which usually there's a group called lights but generally you can just go through the groups of the vehicle until you find out where the coronas are which for me they're right here you can see here we have corona break left it's called but it's really an orange one that's because I changed the color before but that's not what's relevant here right now we're trying to change the color for it ourselves so what we're going to need to do is select the corona and it doesn't matter what color it is by the way because we can change it in paint.net so go ahead file export selection with files and go into your mods folder and by mods folder I mean the folder of the mod you're working on and create a new folder name it Corona, and let's say we're going to make a green Corona. I'll name it Corona Green. Okay, so then we go into Corona Green, save it as Green Corona. You can name it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to name mine. And then you save it, and you click No to that, because that's not necessary for this. And now, what you can do is navigate to the new Corona Green folder that you just created. And there's your i3d file. But what we're going to look at is the texture file, which should be in shared. And right here, then just double click it to open it, paint.net. And it might take a little bit for some reason. Okay, and when it opens, then you can just go ahead, and as you can see, here we have the texture of our orange corona. Now, if we want to change the color of our corona to something else, and in this case green, we can just open up the hue saturation, that's under adjustments, hue saturation, and then just change the hue till it's the color you like. Let's just say I like this green. And you can change this up a little bit if you want to, whatever you want to do. But for the most part, it's best to just keep the others, the saturation and lightness the same. And just change the hue. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now we save that. Close it. And now when we go back to our Giants Air file, we can import the i3d for the green corona. And it should come out. Okay. We should somewhere have a green corona. And as you can see, our corona is now green. And it's that easy. That's all you gotta do. Import to paint.net, change the hue, and you'll have a new color corona. Okay, so now we know how to change the color. So now we can move on to the next part shaders. Now, we're just going to look at some of the more basic custom shaders in this video. But these are really the only ones you'll need for just simple use. Okay, so you can find the custom shader menu in the material editing panel. So if you go window, and then material editing, you'll have this little window down here. And then you just scroll down, and probably it will look like this when you see it. So you just open up that custom shader area, and you'll see here all this info. Okay, so, now you can see there are many, many types of variations you can choose for your custom shader. Now, 
you can pick any one of these if you want to, but basically we'll just go through some of them and see what they do. So, static turn light. Basically what that does is make a turn light, light, corona. Whereas static light, it's just a light that stays on, it doesn't blink. And I believe with the stack turn light one, you can change the blink offset and that'll make it blink faster or slower, depending on what you want. Stack turn light pattern, I'm not exactly sure how that's different, but you can sort of experiment and see how it changes. Billboard, I believe what that means is that you can see it more from different angles. It's more rounded. And billboard turn light, you can sort of see it from the side. So it's just like the turn light, but you can see it better from the side, I believe. Because the stack turn light is just sort of flat, whereas the billboard one is more rounded. Now, the billboard beacon, I believe this is a corona for beacons, so... We'll just leave that for now because that's more complex. And Billboard 360 is basically a Corona you can see all the way around. Okay, so that's some of the different variations you can use for your Corona. Just to give it a little bit of a different look. More smooth or flat or basically whatever suits your needs. Okay, so now that you know how to use the shaders and how to change the color... We'll just look at one last area, which is where you can find the Coronas in your XML. So I'll just open up the XML of my mod real quick. And we'll just go inside and basically under the light, in the light section of the XML of your mod, just between lights and lights, between those two tags, you'll see these areas called decoration. And then it has all these random numbers and stuff. And basically that's the index for your corona. Decoration means corona. And basically what that index is, is just where your corona is in the editor. And I have a video on index paths, actually. You can check out. There will be a link in the description if you want to check that out. So if you want to do that, go right ahead. And you can learn a little bit about indexes. Okay, so anyways, that's where to find your corona in the XML, just decoration. So if you want to add a corona and you want to put in the XML where that corona is, you use decoration and then you just put the index to show where that corona or group of coronas is. So basically if you had a transform group full of coronas, you'd paste the index path of that group as the decoration. Okay, so I think that just, I'll just about cover it for coronas for this tutorial anyway. So I do hope this video has helped you to learn a little bit more about Coronas and has made it a little bit easier for you to work with them. So yeah, that'll be the end of this video. And if it did help you, be sure to like and subscribe and check out my Facebook page as well. And you can see some of the mods I'm working on and cool stuff like that. So yeah, and totally free too. So pretty awesome. All right, so now I'll just, yeah, I'll go now. Bye.